All right. So this is part two of our review in bonding and polarity. And during the previous video, I don't know if you can still recall, but we mentioned that one of the defining characteristics of polar molecules is that they are asymmetric. All right, they are asymmetric. So when we talk about symmetry, we talk about molecular geometry. And what is molecular geometry? It is the 3D structure of the molecule. That is very self-explanatory. And your molecular geometry can be determined using the number of bonding pairs as well as the lone pairs present in the Lewis structure of the molecule. So what are bonding pairs and what are lone pairs? So let's draw the Lewis structure for water. Okay. So this is the Lewis structure for water. So bonding pairs, these are electrons that created a bond. So here, this is the bond. So how many bonding pairs do you have in water? You have two bonding pairs, one for each. And what are lone pairs? These are pairs of electrons that did not create a bond. So in this case, these are your lone pairs. So since they are called lone pairs, they come in pairs. So one of each is a lone pair. So together, the bonding pair and the lone pairs together, they are called as your electron pairs. Your electron pairs are comprised of your bonding pairs and your lone pairs. So again, depending on how many bonding pairs and lone pairs you have in your molecule, it defines the molecular geometry or the molecular shape of that molecule. Now, if you're going to look at this table, so this is just a summary of the um, molecular geometry depending on the number of bonding pairs and lone pairs. So if you have two bonding pairs, how many electron pairs do you have? You have two electron pairs. So the shape is linear. So an example of that is your CO2. CO2 looks like this. So you have two bonding pairs, so it is linear. Next. The next one, you have a total of three electron pairs. So here you have three bonding pairs. So that's a total of three electron pairs. So the shape is trigonal planar. Here you have one bonding pair, another bonding pair. So have you, you have two bonding pairs and you have one lone pair. So two plus one, two bonding pairs plus one lone pair. That is still a total of three electron pairs. So the shape here is bent or angular. The next one, if you have four bonding pairs, you have four electron pairs and the shape is tetrahedral. Next, you have three bonding pairs and one lone pair. So three plus one, that's, that's still a total of four electron pairs. And the shape here is trigonal pyramid. Next, if you have two bonding pairs and you have two lone pairs, so two plus two, that is still a total of four electron pairs. Two lone pairs, two bonding pairs. And the shape is bent or angular. So in the case of water, you have two bonding pairs and you have two lone pairs. What is the shape of this one? It is bent or angular. Very easy, right? Very easy. Next, just to make things simple for you in this slide, Nonpolar molecules, they are symmetrical. So if the molecule is symmetrical, automatic, it is a nonpolar molecule. And there are specific shapes that are symmetrical, such as your linear, trigonal, planar, tetrahedral, square planar, square planar, trigonal, bipyramidal, and octahedral. So in this case, for carbon dioxide, this is the shape. So if you draw it this way, and we apply the concepts we learned from the previous video. We said that when the element is situated at the far right side of the periodic table, it bears the partial negative sign. So here you have partial negative. Partial negative means it is the more electronegative atom. And carbon will be the atom lesser in electronegativity, the less electronegative atom. All right, so... What happens is, as I've mentioned from the previous video, your electrons are pulled towards the more electronegative atom. So in this case, the electrons are pulled towards the two oxygen atoms. So kung naghihilaan sila, 
naghihilahan sila at equal electronegativities, the tendency is nagiging equal yung sharing ng ating electrons. Parang rubber band lang yan eh. If you pull it on both sides with equal force and equal strength, walang makakalamang. So, you'll have a rubber band na nakastretch lang on both ends. So, parang ganun yung nangyayari pag symmetrical ang ating, ang ating molecule. So, in this case, since nagka-cancel yung ating dipole moment, wala, pag sinabi nating nag-cancel ang dipole moment or walang dipole moment, ibig sabihin walang specific na direction kung saan nahihila yung electrons. So, walang specific direction kung saan pumupunta yung ating electrons. So, in this case, nag-cancel ang dipole moment, it is symmetrical. Kapag nag-cancel ang dipole moment natin, it, it only means it is nonpolar. So, nonpolar, dalawa yan. Nag-cancel ang dipole moment, you have no net dipole, and it is symmetrical. So, the reason why nag-cancel yung net dipole mo, kasi symmetrical siya. So, para hindi ka mahirapan, hatiin mo lang sa gitna. Pag pantay siya on both sides, automatic, it is nonpolar. Very easy, right? Alright, next, for carbon tetrachloride, if you're going to look at the structure of this one, it has four bonding pairs and it has no lone pairs. So, in this case, four bonding pairs, no lone pairs. If you cut it in half, pantay siya, di ba? So, it means it is nonpolar. So, if you're going to look at the direction of the, uh, if you're going to look more in detail in where the electrons are being pulled at, sabi natin, pag nasa far right side ng ating periodic table, siya yung magbibear ng partial negative sign. So, in this case, chlorine gets the partial negative sign because it is the more electronegative atom and your carbon atom will bear the partial positive sign. So, where do your electrons go? hihilain niya papunta dun sa mga chlorine. So, kung naghihilahan ka, pataas at pababa, walang lalamang dyan. Magka-cancel ang dipoles mo. You will have no net dipole. And in this case, kung left and right, naghihilahan ka din, magka-cancel din yan. So, you have no net dipole with carbon tetrachloride. Now, let's go and see boron trifluoride. Very easy. Atiin mo sa gitna. Pantay siya. So, automatic, it's nonpolar. Okay. So, I hope this is clear. It's very easy. Next, kapag asymmetrical o hindi pantay yung molecule, pag hindi pantay yung molecule kapag hinati mo, or kapag may lone pair yung molecule dun sa center atom niya, so remember the center atom, so kapag hindi pantay pag hinati mo at may lone pair sa center atom, automatic yun ay polar. So, para hindi na kayo mahirapan. Ganun na lang, no? Such as in the case of water. Kung titingnan mo pag hinati mo yan, isipin mo pantay yan kasi may dalawa siyang lone pair on both sides. Pero kasi sa 3D representation yan, may mga static forces yan, no? May force na in-exert ito, may force na in-exert ito, may attraction na in-exert, may attraction na in-exert. So, nagbabago yung itsura, no? Hindi siya katulad dito sa ating drawing na flat lang talaga. Ayan. So, basta may lone pair sa central atom, automatic, polar. So, dito, si nitrogen, may lone pair siya. Kahit hatiin ko yan sa gitna, mukha siyang pantay. Pero may lone pair dun sa central atom. It's still a polar molecule. In this case, no question. This is a polar molecule. Bakit? May net dipole siya eh. Diba? Chlorine is on the far right side of the periodic table. So, it bears the partial negative sign. And your hydrogen will get the partial positive sign. So, saan papunta yung electrons? Saan sila hinahaltak papunta? So, si chlorine, hahaltakin niya yung electrons papunta sa kanya. So, there will be an equal sharing of electrons. And when there is an equal sharing of electrons, automatically, that is polar. Okay? So, here are some of the molecular shapes or geometry na asymmetrical and thus polar. So, to summarize everything, if the molecule has a net dipole, then it is polar. When you say there is a net dipole, may specific direction kung saan pumupunta yung electrons natin. Kasi may mass electronegative at hinahaltak niya papunta sa kanya yung electrons. So, if the structure is symmetric, pantay siya pag hinati mo sa gitna, automatic it is nonpolar. When there are no lone pairs on the center atom, then the molecule is nonpolar. If it is linear or square planar, then it is nonpolar. This is very self-explanatory. If it has a different terminal atoms, then it is polar. 
All right. So let's try doing this practice exercises. Analyze the structures of the following molecules. Determine if the following molecules is polar or nonpolar based on the bonds and molecular geometry. So this one, napakadali. Hatiin mo sa gitna. Pantay siya, di ba? And the bond is between a nonmetal to another nonmetal. So this is, by no argument, this is nonpolar. Next, this one, hatiin mo sa gitna. Pantay siya, non-polar. Okay. This one, may lone pair siya sa gitna, sa center atom niya. So, polar siya, no? Kasi kahit hatiin mo yan sa gitna, hindi yan magiging pantay. Okay? Next, this one. This is what? This is non-polar, yes. When you divide divide this no into half, pantay siya on both sides. And wala kasing, walang, elect, walang lone pair yung ating central atom. This one, kitang-kita naman, may lone pair yung central atom at saka kahit atiin mo yan, hindi siya magiging pantay kasi double bond ito, tapos single bond ito. So kung asymmetric, hindi pantay, automatic it is polar. How about this one? Yeah, this is quite tricky. So this is polar. Why? Oh, let's try drawing the structure like this. Because among the elements present here, among the atoms present here, who is the most electronegative? It is chlorine. So, ang tendency si chlorine hahaltakin niya lahat ng electrons papunta sa kanya. Ayan. Okay, this one. Is this polar or nonpolar? This is polar. So, pag may double bond na naka-attach dun sa ating central atom, automatic that is polar. Ayan. And, magkakaiba yung atoms na naka-attach sa kanya. Ay, okay. So, that ends your review in bonding and polarity. I hope you've learned a lot. So, after this, try answering the uh, the mini quiz, no? Uh, on the on the module on the module section. And, um, I hope you would take an effort in reviewing your Lewis structures. Kasi, minsan, ibibigay lang sa atin yung compound. Tapos, hindi naman natin masasa... Hindi naman natin... Kung hindi ka familiar, hindi mo malalaman kung may lone pair ba yung molecule na yun. So, you have to draw the Lewis structure. So, please review your Lewis structure. It is it is basic and it, re it will really help you know, identify molecules then whether they are polar or nonpolar. As for the uh, 3D representations of the molecules, we'll have a separate lecture on that, hopefully. And um, that's it. So, if you're done with this, you're done with the quiz, uh, take a rest tonight and then tomorrow... We'll begin another lesson. All right, that's it. 